Ooh, well, we, we come off the back of a really good result at the weekend. Uh, we're looking forward to now uh, three away games. Three away games, and I think the last games that we had, uh, San Jose and Montreal, give us a little bit of confidence on the road. Our road form wasn't great, so it gives us a little bit of confidence on the road. Uh, you know, we, we we played a certain system, we played a certain way, and, and we felt as that way really suited us. So we're looking forward to uh, going to a really difficult place in New York Red Bulls, who who are above us in the table. And they've had a fantastic season. They're a, they're a dangerous team, and uh, and we know what they're all about. Uh, we're a team that's got a lot of confidence. We've got players that are desperate to play, and. Uh, We've got Coco back in the squad now, which is great. He's been fantastic this week, I've got to say. He, he looks like a real, real good player for us, a good addition. And we've got players who are fresh that, that are willing to step in over the next two games, particularly in a short space of time. And uh, we're really looking forward to the challenge. You know, there's, there's two different emotions. One when I'm at home and one when I'm at work. When I'm at work, he's just another young boy that's come through our ranks, who's been through our system, played in the MLS too, and deserved this opportunity. No different than Escona, than Frey, than... <clears throat> no Allen early in the season it, that, that, that's how I, I treat him here obviously at home I'm super proud he's, he's worked so hard he's sacrificed so much and he's 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 done it he's done it in in a, in a way where he's had to overcome many challenges and, and one of those challenges is having me as his manager he knows that he has to work and probably do do more than everybody else but this is well deserved and and now I, I said to him the other day when he signed his contract the hard work begins he's got a He's got to perform to, to be better than, than Yedlin, than Noah, than Gibbs, you know, the players that are in his position and, and, and that's that's the challenge, but we, we believe a lot in him. Because he's done his sort of hard Yeah, hard, I mean, he, he, he did three years in Valencia, uh, he did three years in Valencia, two, two, two and a half years at Manchester United, so so he, he, he's, he's not been given this on a plate. I think people that know him and know me know that that's the opposite of what we're about. So he's, he's here, he's worked hard, he was scouted by other people in this club to come to this football club and he's, he's had to do the hard yards in the MLS2 with Darren, the USL last year. He's had to sit out six months when they're obviously waiting for his green card. So so he's had to really earn this opportunity and, and, and I think that's the only way it should be for any player. Well, he, he brings us depth in that position that we've not had all season. DeAndre's had to play every single minute of every single game and, and, and apart from a game, game or two where we played Victor Jora out of position, we've had no depth in that position. So he brings depth, he brings challenge, he brings freshness and uh, he brings quality. And, and it's, it's up to him now to, to take the next jump and the next level. He's had that noise all his, all his career. He played for Manchester United. And he had that thrown in his face. He had his, he, at Manchester United, it was worse. He had his, his father and his uncle being thrown in his face. So, so he's he's got thick skin. He's he's very driven. And uh, you know everything that he's ever achieved in his life, he's had to earn himself. You know, he made the choice at 11 years of age to go and sign for Manchester City, which was against all the wishes of everybody in my family. But that was that was his decision. He wanted to create his own pathway. So, so he's he looks after himself. You know, he, he, him and his him and his mum sort himself out. I, I'm, I'm just a father at home that, that is his father at work. I'm, I'm his I'm his manager, and that's how it's got to be. He knows he's got to do more than everybody else. But but like I say, he's just another another person that we see as a part of our a part of our future. Of this football club. Well, I, I did think there was a little bit of fatigue in the Toronto performance. So so I've I've got to look at the players over the next two or three days and say right what's going to give us our, our our best performance on Saturday I think I think what we've seen over the last month is that we've rotated we've changed systems we've been flexible and adaptable in everything that we've done and and what it's meant is we've, we've got 16 17 18 players all believing that they're going to play and contribute and and that's how it's going to be over the next four games we, 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 we have quite adaptable with the system that we play we we go freely from three at the back to four at the back to four three three to three five two to three four three and and that's been our real strength and we're going to have to be really adaptable in the next two games we're playing two really good teams two teams above us in the league and uh two teams that have aspirations to get in the playoffs like ourselves and i think the next three away games will will probably define our season. We keep saying that, but the next three games, the, clicks the, 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 the clock's ticking, uh, are going to be massively important. We have to pick up points on the road. Before we went to San Jose, we said we have to have an away day mentality. And, and we came away with four points, and over the next three games, we need to, we need to start amassing points as well to keep us in that in that pack that's chasing that playoffs position. I think I think it's no secret they press the ball, they they high energy, they they play direct. They have quality players in the final third and they that they, they 
they have players that can that can be match winners. And uh, you know, early in the season, I thought we played really well against them, but it was in the heat. It was in the heat here. It slowed them down a little bit, I suppose. But the two games we had last season against them, they 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 they, they really really wiped the floor with us. So we know that their qualities are. Uh, and we're going to have to produce probably one of our best performances to get results in the next two games. You know, we're at the stage of the season when you look at the calendar, we're nearly there. We're, we're nearly at the final stretch. And when, we, when you get to the final stretch, you just need to concentrate on the next game. Concentrate on the next game and more importantly, concentrate on what we're doing. You know, you can look at the other fixtures, the permutations, the points tally, uh, but it's about us amassing points. If you'd have said to us before San Jose about what we were going to do in the next four games, we'd, we would have really been pleased. And now we need to go on another run over the next three games of uh, gaining real points on the road. Well, I think I think my experience when you get to a sort of like a title running and when you get to a the, the, where, where it, you call it the the most important part of the season that. For probably two thirds of the season, the performances are really important. When you get to this point, it's about winning, it's about competing, it's about finding a way to win a game of football. And I think, I think what my team are doing at this moment in time, they're finding ways to win football games. And uh, New York, we were down. Toronto, we were we 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 were dominated. Uh, Cincinnati, we came back. Uh, San Jose, Montreal, we showed we showed some, we've been showing some great qualities, qualities that you can't you can't buy. And, and that's what gives me and, and my staff and, and the club great confidence in the next seven games. I think you, you saw him running the other day. I don't, was he running today? I think he was running today. He's ahead of schedule, uh, you know. Uh, but we've got to be cautious. You know, it's it's a it's a it's a, it's a muscle strain. So we, we we're not we're going to push him, but not rush him. And and I think that's the. Uh, you know, I want him back as soon as possible. We're going to need him back. We got, you know, they look at the last game, of the, the last week of the season, three games in a week. You know, we're going to have to, we're going to have to show some support for Gonzalo in some way. We're going to have to give him, you know, a rest at some point. And uh, you know, and we need Campania back. We need all our, we need all our sort of like big guns out there. I think it's different when Gary was always, always a, always a friend. I think, I think when we're in this building, he's. We, we, we don't even act as if we we like each other, <laughs> you know. It's 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 you know Jason and Mark and Brett. They do a lot, and Darren. They do a lot of the talking to Harvey. I tend to distance myself from him, uh, you know, because I want him to just grow himself. Uh, you know, I, I had I had a lot of my career with a family member in the club, and I always used that as my advantage. It was always a support network. But ultimately, when we go home. I, I want him to be my son, my best friend in the club. I want him to be a really good right back. And, and that's the way it's got to be. And that's the challenge for us both.